Previously, we were using a facet in order to download an Excel file. However, Laravel Excel provide us another way of downloading the files. So inside our export file, we are going to import our concern. And here we are also going to add use exportable. And now what we can do is we can remove the facade from our controller. I will comment this one out. And instead, we are going to return the instance of our export. And now we have the method called download. And we can call that method. And we can pass in multiple arguments. The first one is the simple one, which is the name of the file. So let's add the file name. So we are calling the download method and we are missing the argument here, users. So it will work the same way as before. The only difference is we now don't have to include the Excel facade in our controller. Like I mentioned before, this download method accepts multiple parameters or arguments. The first one is the file name. The second one is about the writer type. So whatever type of file we are trying to export, it can be CSV, XLS, depends on the Excel file. And the third one is the array of headers where we can specify the things like content type. Now there is one more way of shortening this type of download. So without using the Excel facade. And for that we have an interface which allows us to define these customization like the file name, the writer type and headers inside of our export class. So for that let's go back to our export file and inside our export file we can implement the interface called responsible. With this interface we can define a couple of things. So I'm going to copy from the official documentation and we can define the file name, writer type and headers. So the file name is going to be users and we must define file name in order to use the responsible interface. The other properties are optional. So let me add Excel and the content type. Let's keep that. And now we can go back to our controller and instead of using the download method, we can simply return our instance of the export file. And that was all about different ways of exporting file. Now when we are working with APIs or even when you are not working with the APIs, it doesn't have to be API specific. We want to store the Excel file somewhere. It can be on our own server or something like S3 storage. So for this, we have two ways of storing the file. The first one is using the Excel facade. So let's comment this one and undo all the changes. So we won't be using the responsible interface and not even the exportable concern. And instead of the download method, we have a method named store. And we also need to import the Excel facade. So it's going to be Excel slash facade. And now we can use the method named store. And it also takes in multiple parameters. So the first one is the exportable file. So that is our user's export. The second one is the file path or the file name. So if we are just defining the file name and we have not configured or modified the default file system inside our file systems.php, it will be storing the file using the local disk, which by default refers to the storage app folder. So these two are the required parameters. The rest are optional. The third one is about the disk. So we can specify whichever disk we want to use. It can be S3, public, storage, whichever we have defined in our file system file. And the fourth one is about the writer type. And we can pass in some options as a fifth parameter. So which can be like visibility of the file or the content type. Now let's try it out first. So we'll go back to our browser and slash export. And we can see one, which means uh, the file has been successfully stored. So we can go to our file system and inside the storage directory, inside the app folder, we can see our user's Excel file. So now the other way of storing the file is by using exportable concern. So we can go back to our export file and add the use exportable. And now we can go back to our controller and instead of the download method, we have the store method and which takes in the same parameters as the facade method. So we can just simply pass in the name and let's try it in browser, hit refresh and actually let's first delete this file. So we know that our method is working. Refresh, go back and now we can see our user Excel file. 
So that is about exporting and downloading files. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into customizations of the sheets and having multiple sheets in the Excel file.